Hello everybody and welcome back to another video with me, Liam. And today we're going to be continuing Ostriv. Where in the last video it was an introduction video where I basically told you what happens in the game and that's it. Anyway, we're going to start a new game. These are all the maps you can choose from. So you've got 1 to 9. And um, I'm going to go with spruce trees, which are all these old dark patches. And um, probably just going to go for map 6. Right. This is the game Ostrov. This is the whole map we can build on in between these red lines. All in this area can build with. And we have to start by placing our camp. Where we have to place it on this side because if we get on this side it's inaccessible because we can only go from this side. But we can build bridges later on to bridge across the islands and over here. Which can help to expand the village. Right. At first we can place our camp next to these this forest over here. Probably just place it about there ish. There we go. There's our camp done. These are all the villages that we have in the 1721. And this is our camp center, camp storage, and here's all the cart parking areas. We ha also have a well for drinking water. Now, this is going to get builders so we can build all our buildings that we're going to be building. Uh, this is the mayor, which is... I'm not going to pronounce any of these names because I just don't want to. Um, and yeah, let's... Because we've got so many people in here and we haven't got many other jobs, we can just get two more people in here. Then if I play at one time speed, you'll see all them fill up. Now all these people are going to start moving around, probably going to their tents. And um, in order for them to get a house, we have to build them houses like this. So you place them down, builders come build them, and then, yeah. Now, you have to build nine houses, which is how many tents there are. You have to build nine houses to make sure all the residents get their own house before winter comes because if winter comes and we don't have all the houses done uh, the remaining people in tents will just leave so yeah kind of on a time thing at the moment basically it start the winter starts in the December where it snows basically now let's go into the production tab and let's get a forestry going we can place it pretty much anywhere. Let's just place it like there, right up against the trees. Now, that's the forestry. It's going to be marked with a bunch of flags. And this is the work process of how long it's supposed to be doing it. Now, these are the resources that it needs, where it needs nails, wood, and stuff like that. Now, these are the builders that we just hired. Now, those builders should go and get the carts, go over to this plank storage area over here and put it there and there's also nails and iron and thatch in here now what I am going to do I am going to get the music going because it is quite nice just to listen to in the background hopefully you can hear that yeah uh, let's continue with this now they're going to start building it and then um, yeah I'm just going to sit here and do a time lapse of this so I'll see you when this is built. Hello now, basically the forestry is now done, where now if we play a little bit, we can now 
higher people. Let's hire two people in there, which you need to carry logs into here. And these are all the things that it can make, where it can make wood, which is planks basically, and firewood. Now, in order for these two spaces to fill up, because we've only got nine men in here, and it's, yeah, this only accepts uh, men for that job. We have to take one person out of here, and then they will work in this building here. Now, we have to go and get some houses going. Now, these are the ones with gardens. You also have ones without gardens as well. But to start with, it's probably good to just go for houses with gardens because they can produce their own food and stuff. And I'll show you that later. Oh, actually, I forgot. Thank you for that little tip up there, game. We also need to make a clay pit. Now we can just like place it down like there if we want to. And now the builders should start going here and digging this out. It's going 12 times speed. Now you see that little notification where it's not enough workers to chop trees? Well, we've only got one person in there, so we have to get another person in there, which is the person that we fired from the other job. There we go, he's in there. Now, these builders have just dug out the clay pit where we're going to get all the clay from. Now, it's got a nice little fence around it, and we get infinity clay. Now, we can start building houses. We need at least nine houses before winter comes. So... We could just start building like a grid platform behind this clay pit, basically. So if I hold shift and start placing these down, so we've got one, two, three, four, and then we can go on to the other side. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, the first house that we build, the mayor's always going to live in it, basically. So, this is going to be the first house here, where we can customise it to be bit bigger so we can go to about there-ish make it so it's two houses well long uh, make sure that all lines up that's a bit wonky Just move that that way a little that's okay and what I am oh god Right, I accidentally clicked escape, so now I have to do the whole thing again. Right, so you can go up to there, you can go up to about there-ish, you lined up there. Now this is going to be a quite slow series, basically, until we start getting things all ready, basically. Now our house can go there. If click enter, that's going to be the first house being built. This is our production tasks, basically. It goes from left to right, and the builders will build the one on the left first and slowly go down to the right. Now, we've got most of this done, so now we can just go on 12 times speed and let the builders start building them, the houses. Now, these forest three workers should start chopping tree and turning it into wood like they are bringing the wood in now where it takes that's a bit weird is good there we go where it takes two people at least to carry one log so that goes in there one person comes out collects it and turns it into firewood 2500 firewood and 2500 planks basically now this is first house for the mayor, and to be honest, this 
city building game is really nice and calming for just sitting around building stuff and watching the builders build it. Now, I'm going to um, do another time lapse here just to watch the nice little village house being built. And yeah. Well, I hope you like that little time lapse of the house being built and you can see there that's the mare in the first house and they're going to start growing crops there. As you can see it's the mare, mare and um, yeah. Now they're going to start going down from that way all the way down to here then starting from here and going all the way down to there which should be nine houses and should be built before December, well before the end of November basically. Right. There isn't really much being done now, so yeah. This is going to be a quite slow pace uh, F well, series, basically. And I've got an announcement to make. There is going to be an episode probably nearly every Sunday. This one will probably be on like on a Tuesday or Wednesday, um, just to keep this series going from episode zero, which I'll leave in the description below the link to that, and um, yeah, which should show you all the introduction things, and should be at the very start of the video, there should be um, a thing at the top right corner to take you a link down to there as well. Anyway. They're building this house here. Nice village house. Oh, and all the houses are all going to be a little bit different. So we see that house is going to be different from this house. Once they like, finish it and stuff. Like you see here, you've got like, a little porch thing there. But this one, it's got an extra large porch here. And also the roof is a little bit different watch this house just being finally built there we go now you can see that house is different to that house because they've all got like different styles and stuff well, on the same as that but if I right click and get like this that's same as that right there we go this is different it's got a whole front porch thing now so I'm just gonna get a fence here now that little blue thing there is going to be the entrances towards their land so that's the entrance towards the land that's going to be the entrance to the house like that's the entrance to the house there and that's the entrance to the clay pit, that's the entrance to the forestry and stuff. So all the blue bits is all the entrances. All the yellow bits is all the actual building, basically, where you can't... They don't go, like, into the building, like, they won't go underneath this little wire here. Because it's in the yellow zone. But instead, they'll go all the way around it instead to get in. Yeah, now, while these houses are being built, I can now start to get some more production things going. These are all the production things we can build. 
and there's a next tab here um yeah so you've got all these and including all like fishing as well salt works oil workshop which will uh be some flowers and then they will be made into sunflower oil uh you have the thatchery which we are actually going to build after all the houses have been done which is going to create thatch so we can build more houses let's just get this on um this side of the forestry so that is at the end of the queue so got another house done there it's all different and yeah now you can start to see these little patches here which is where the people have walked on there isn't actually any roads in the game so that this is technically called the road for the built like houses and city or town thing at the moment it's probably going to be like a little village area so yeah now if we go into the decoration tab we also have a bunch of trees fences and arches posts bird houses we've also got benches and gazebos which we're actually going to place down a couple of benches make sure all our people can sit down build a couple more here now if you are enjoying this series so far please like and subscribe to follow on for the whole series because I, I would really appreciate it and um, yeah continue these benches all the way in the center of the buildings down here now you can go at the end right there oh I haven't placed it Now we can... Right, got a bunch of benches down where people are already using them already. Now we can just like demolish these little areas here. So they have to either go into their tents, houses, or sit on these benches. Basically, each person they have a work day. Oh, wait, that's the wrong thing. Uh, it. <coughs> right this is their work day he's pretty much finished doing his work day he, so he'll go and put the cart back and go and take a rest so if i click on here you'll see that they're all supplying resources now he is taking the cart back oh that's a wrong type of example right if i see one of these people take a rest it means that they're at the end of their work day and um yeah at the end there we go you he's at the end of his work day and he's taking a rest from work basically and then after that rest period is finished he'll go back to work so you'll see him there and he's currently going back to his tent like now you can see he's taking a rest and as the bar slowly fills up he will now start supplying things to the building now so he's gone back to work basically so that's how the like working thing starts so I don't know what commentary to say now there's pretty much nothing else to say um, the forestry will continue getting wood actually we've got plenty of wood there because we have to get the houses done by the end of November if I fire the one that's taking a rest and then uh, put you on to the builders. Oh, also, you can control the wages as well, which I should have done from the beginning, but I'll go from half. And we can also do the supply resources, which shows the storage capacity and like uh, what they can take, like if they can carry it by hand or cart, and basically. This can hold uh, 35,000, like anything, so like that's all 35,000. That, that's not all 35,000, that is all 
22,480. Now, we're just getting finished on the fourth house being done. Now, we can go on to this house here. The builders are going to build. And, yeah, I'll leave another time lapse here while they start building it. Alright, that house is finished, and I'll start going on to this house here. And, um, yeah, this game is pretty nice and relaxing, to be honest. If you just want to sit down, build, and watch them build, it's pretty nice and relaxing. Um, yeah, I think the whole developer is one person um, uh, developing this game. And, yeah, I think he's done a pretty good job at doing it so far. Yeah, we've got plenty of wood and firewood um yeah there isn't really much to talk about at the moment but yeah as you can see here you can see they uh, they've created their roads towards their houses now and the recording should be going pretty well how long have we been recording for I actually don't know no, I can't see. Right. But yeah, uh, I think we're going to end the episode once all these houses are done and um, and the thatchery is done, where we can start getting the women to work in the thatchery. This house is pretty much done. Got three more houses to build, including this one. Now we've only got two. Now we've got this one and this one. Now, we can also go ahead and go into the trade and transport, which you have like hay barracks, uh, granary, warehouse, trading post, trading dock, market stall, cart parking, cart shed, cart, uh, wagon shed, stable, and wooden bridge. Now the wooden bridge is what I was talking about at the very start of the video. You can like bridge from one area to the other and you can go all the way over there. Like that, but it does need wood and nails there, which is going to take a lot of wood and nails. Probably not going to do that for like another two episodes or maybe, yeah. So, all these tabs down here, you got water, which is obviously it's just water. You get well on the platform where you can put a platform on here for just production. As you can hear, you get the uh, description of it. It's a basic water source for livestock and production needs. Now, train, transport, bridge, we've already talked about. But a market stall, we can actually place down now. We can just place it down. If I turn you around, we can place you down right there. Now, we can hire options, we can do only women for that, because we've got the men doing the building. Now we can have labourers' wage can be 40% of what it actually is. And um, this is supply resource, what uh, labourers' hands and workers' cart can do. Now we can change this market, so which is all these little baskets there. They will be all changed to whatever I change it to, which is going to be firewood which they will take it from the forestry 
uh, take the firewood from there, put it in here, and it'll start to sell it to the people so they have firewood to heat themselves in the winter times. So, got um, that person in there. I'm not going to pronounce their names because I'm going to pronounce it horribly wrong. Um, yeah. Why have we got two? Oh, you're moving out and you're the last person. We've also got a child who's six years old playing around. Now, we can also choose after this house is built for the very last house. You'll see at the top left corner, you can see that there's um, a notification saying that we're running out of thatch, but we'll be perfectly fine. Now, we have to work on a thumbnail and I'll probably get the thumbnail just be like this here which just should be showing all the houses you have top left corner will be text and stuff now uh, the factory is going to be built like that now we can get 50% on the wage women because the men are doing the building work uh, now we can hire four women in there now they'll all start collecting reeds from the water's edge here or here they'll start collecting them then drying it out into thatch basically now we can fire that person in there put you in here so we can get more wood getting in there now we can let's not build any more houses because up here we need basically we need um more food on sale with the markets we need more jobs and more housing basically now in order to get them the more food because we don't have a farm at the moment and that will be probably next episode we get that running maybe um we can go in the trade and transport get a granary here we can put it on the side of the forestry let the builders build that to start collecting it all and yeah I'll do a little time lapse of the granary being built Now that granary's done, we can, like, if we go into here, get a resource put in here, we can go ahead and, like, put, um, what do you have? You can have cabbage, marrow, horseradish. So we can put in here, we can put cabbage in here, and then we can select this from, buy from local producers, which the people in the houses. Now we can, how many supply? 20,000. If there's uh, 20 of them, I'm just going to put 2,000 of them in there. We can also take this, take from other granaries. We don't have any more granaries, but just in case we do. Uh, this will supply the market area, which will probably be about here, to um, take the cabbage and sell it to the people for a high price and we bought it for. Now. We can get 50% in there, 40% in there. Uh, one labourer is a maximum there, a tool, even though we don't have any more. There, and workers. There we go. Now, if we can get another market stall to put that cabbage in. Now, you see that's being built. The small stuff like this and um, 
so like the arches and the fences they don't need the builders to build them so they just like magically just appear now we put the cabbage into all these slots now we can hire a work for that actually i need to get one labourer there and apply to all fire you get you in there there we go now you can see we've also got cabbage in there and we've got people coming in to buy it and then going back home now it's at the end of october and we've got all the houses done we've got a thatchery done which will produce thatch but more houses now we should have enough food for sale now we just need to build more houses and then by the end of the first year we should have um an increase in population maybe might be next video but you never know so if we align that up there like that get you lined up there get the house right there so it's going to be like the mayor's house uh and then we can start building you now which way are they going to go they're going to go this way yeah now he's got the cart full of nails for the house and i will put the wood down he'll put the clay down and these will start building it now we can now start planning for the future which will probably be in the i don't know um yeah let's start planning it now we can build it in the next episode uh, we can get you try and make sure it's around the same size there around the same size get four more houses in here let's press f1 to make sure that goes in the proper space get another house and put you there now we've got another four houses and it's nearly coming up to the end of the year. These are currently building the um, building there. And yeah, there's going to be another episode on this probably on the Sunday morning at about six o'clock in the morning. Um, just in case you want to watch it. And yeah. Hopefully you are enjoying the series. The music is very nice and calming if you can hear it. And um, yeah. Got the market stalls here, got the granary, got a forestry, got a factory. Now we can, if I select this button, make empty, make really empty, now they'll start emptying that. We can also build cart parking as well. But in order to do that, we can um, get a carpentry, which will uh, repair carts, wagons and plows, but also build some. Oh, actually, before we get you doing that, we let's start planning to put a, a smithy down, which will produce... Um, nails horseshoes and um metal parts i want you to be first of the queue because we need nails because we haven't got that many nails left as you can see we've only got not many left um uh, we might have to destroy that building to get enough nails because how many nails do you need you need 102 we'll just have enough Ah, uh, only just. Now, snow's starting to come down as it comes into December and the winter starts. And we've got a new family settling in. Where he's taken his parent there and he's also got two children as well. They're both unemployed because we don't have any of the jobs available. So what we can do, we can just um, add another job there. Now we can 
watch the smithy being built in the snow. Right, that's currently built now. We can get the person out of there who is on a rest. Who's the most on a rest? You, okay. Now we can get you five and you can go to 40%. One labourer can go you there max. You can have a thousand iron. Oh, well, iron ingots basically. Uh, Ply tool, even though I don't have any other one. Now, they will start producing nails and metal parts and horseshoes. Currently, we need them to m mainly make nails. But yeah, that will probably be the end of today's video. And if you do like it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Good. Bye.